Wow my friend, you have really done well for yourself. I am happy for you. It is by God's doing my friend. It is God. Well you know, when you trust in God and live for Him, He will bless the work of your hand, no matter how small it may be. Blah 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 nonsense. He doesn't want to tell me how he made his money. He doesn't want me to be like him. Idiot. I will show this guy Pepper. Oh no. Oh no. What is wrong James? My friend, can you believe that? My rent is due and I have no money to renew. My landlord just ranted on me before I even left the house. I told him I was going to find money to pay him before the day ends. Oh James, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you my friend but it's not your sorry that I need. I need you to give me some money to pay my rent. But sure my friend, anything to help a friend in need, how much money can settle your problem? I need just $500 for the rent, and whilst you are at it, you can add $500 more for me to buy food and shop for some new clothes. There is this brand trending and I must get myself one. No problem my friend, here is $1000 for you. Take it and go pay your rent. And be sure to manage the rest. Spend it on good things and stop chasing trending outfits. Thank you my friend. You are so kind and generous, God will surely bless and reward you. You are welcome, my friend. I have a client to meet. Well talk later, bye bye. Ha! Huh. Idiot. I will take my time and take care of you. How dare you flaunt your riches and success before me, by the time I am done with you, you will forget your own name. Nonsense. Great Father Father. My son, what brings you to my abode this day? Thank you Great Father Father Great Father Father, I have come to seek your help. I have this friend I want you to destroy. He dares to flaunt his success in my face. I want him to lose all that he has labored for. I want him to lose it all. Not even an iota of it should remain. I want complete distraction to befall him. That is why I have come. My son, I have given you all the power you need to destroy anyone who get on your nerves or makes you unhappy. Why have you still come to disturb my peace? Great father father. Great father father. I thought the kind of destruction I'm seeking might be above the power you have given me. That is why I came to you. No my child, the power I have given you is capable of anything. Just follow the instructions I gave you and everything will work to your perfection. Do you have the point of contact? Yes great father father, I have it. I lied and collected some money from him. Alright then, go and release your anger. Now leave my sight and stop disturbing me you man of little faith. I will go and do accordingly. I am sorry for disturbing you. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. I call upon you the spirit of destruction, be destroyed, be destroyed. I use the money you have given me as a point of contact. I rain destruction upon your life. And after your destruction, may your family and friends forsake you so that you can never make a comeback from your fall in the name of Great Father Father. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Mr. Martins. How can I help? Mr. Ethan, I am calling to inform you that I am backing out of our contract. Oh no. Oh no. But why? 
I'm sorry, Mr. Ethan, but I am withdrawing my contract. I cannot work with you any longer. I no longer need your services. I found a better company with better and affordable services. But, you can't just withdraw from the contract. Well, I have. Mr. Martins. Mr. Martins? No, no, no. How can Mr. Martins do that to me? That contract was worth millions, how can I just lose it? What is happening to me? Why am I facing one problem after another? Mr. Ethan, I am Dr. Ryan. Your wife has been admitted at the hospital and needs an emergency surgery. You need to deposit an amount of $10,000 before we can commence the operation. Be fast about it or your life could lose her life. I am coming there right now. Doctor, how is my wife after the surgery? We thank God, the surgery was done on time. If there was a little delay, your wife could have lost her life. Now you need to complete the payment with another $10,000 at the front desk. Another what? $10,000, but I have already paid that earlier. No, Mr. Ethan, that was just a half payment. Kindly go to the front desk and finish the payment. Okay, doctor. Ben, what is it? Boss, I have bad news. Something terrible has happened. What happened? The warehouse has burnt down, sir. What? Oh, God. How did it happen? The fire service is still looking into how it started. I am coming there right now. What? Oh, no, oh, no. What is happening to me? What is happening to me? Why am I facing one problem after another? All the goods have burnt down? How do I finish the project of my clients? Oh no, oh no. Oh God, what is going on in my life? After the warehouse burnt down, I had to let go of almost all my contracts. I even had to sell my car to settle some of my clients but the money I owe is too huge. Mr. Hagen threatened to arrest me if I refused to pay up his money. I ended up selling my house to settle him. To top it all, my wife has even left me, and none of my family and friends offered me help. My family and friends treat me like a plaque. They don't even want to see my face. I have to beg food from strangers and I have no roof over my head. Oh God, you have really disappointed me. James, it's been a while. Yes, my friend, it's been a while. You are looking bright and shiny. Life must be going well for you. Yes, my friend, God has really proven himself in my life. I am soaring in my car air. In fact, God is good to me. See this idiot, babbling to me. Oh, my friend, we thank God for your life and car air. By the way, to what do I owe this visit? It's been a while I laid my eyes on you since you started soaring, you have ignored me. Oh James, don't say that. I have not ignored you. I have always had you in mind. Oh really, I can't thank you enough. Indeed you are my one true friend. Which is another reason why I am here to see you. I have just been promoted as the managing director of my company, and there is a vacancy for a personal assistant. So I decided to come and inform you since you are currently not working. So this idiot means to tell me that I am a lazy man and that he is better than me? Okay, no problem. He should just wait and see how I fix him. Nonsense. He should go and ask that idiot who calls himself Ethan. That reminds me, how far with that idiot, did my spell work well with him? Oh my friend, thank you for remembering me in your good times, unlike our dear friend Ethan who has completely forgotten me. What, Ethan? You mean you haven't heard? Heard what? Ethan has gone bankrupt, 
his company warehouse suddenly caught fire leading to the closure of his company. After that he had to sell his properties to settle the debts he owed his clients. The sad part is that, his wife even left him. As I am talking to you now, I don't even know his whereabouts. I have been looking for him to see the little I can do for him but he is nowhere to be found. Oh so you are now the good Samaritan. By the time I am through with you, you won't even remember your place of birth much more to think of helping Ethan. Nonsense. What? Oh no. Oh God. How can such an awful thing happen to my dear friend Ethan? Oh God. This is really sad please help him wherever he is. Oh, I pray you find him. I hope so too my friend. Oh no. Oh no. What is wrong? Can you believe I have run out of food? And I have no money. You know I am jobless. I will starve if you don't help me. Oh, don't worry. What are friends for? Take this money and get yourself something. Oh, thank you. You are very kind. You are welcome. God bless you and reward you. Amen. I have to leave now. Call me when you make up your mind about the job. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Patrick. 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 I call upon you the spirit of destruction, be destroyed, be destroyed. I use the money you have given me as a point of contact. Since you have the guts to call me a lazy man, I rain destruction upon your life. May you lose your job and never find work to do again in the name of Great Father Father. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. <laughs> Boss, you called for me. Yes, Patrick, I called for you. The board has decided to bid you farewell from the company. What do you mean by that? We no longer need your services. But... No buts, your severance pay has been deposited in your account. Now pack your things and leave. Oh God. Oh no. What just happened? Did I just get fired? How can that be? Or I am dreaming. How can my life take such an awful turn? After losing my job some weeks ago, I have searched so much for a job but to no avail. Oh God please help me. With all my degrees and work experience, no company wants to hire me. Oh God, please help me. Who could it be? Oh James, you are welcome. Patrick, I haven't seen you for a while. My calls have also not been going through. I have come to give you an answer for the job you offered me some weeks ago. I think I am ready to work now, that is if the job is still available. I am sorry my friend but I can't keep to my promise. I lost my job some few weeks back. The company didn't even give me any reason for my dismissal. Ha ha. See your end. Next time, you won't flaunt your success in my face again. Oh no. My dear friend, how can something so bad happen? How can they fire you just like that without any reason? My search for a job has also proved futile. Don't worry, our God is a God of wonders, you shall surely find a better job. Who knows, maybe God wants to take you to the next level by giving you a better job. I hope so too. A better job? Over my dead body. The poverty you are about to taste will shock you. I am so heartbroken. It shall be well. Take heart. A better job? Nonsense.
Is that not Monica? Hi Monica. I haven't seen you in ages, you are really shining and glowing. James, wow, long time no see. Wow, you have become so beautiful. Oh James, it's been a while indeed. I traveled outside. I just got back recently. How have you been? Oh wow, no wonder you are looking extremely beautiful. Your husband must be a lucky man to have you. Oh James, I am not married yet, but my wedding is coming on very soon, in a few days time to be precise. Which is why I am here to get some few items for the wedding preparations. Let me take this opportunity to invite you. Look at this one too. This lady is really seeking her own doom. After rejecting my marriage proposal some years back, she still has the effrontery to invite me to her wedding. She is indeed seeking her doom, and I will happily and gladly deliver it to her. Nonsense. I will text you the invite later. Okay, dear. I'm still on the same phone number. So, what did you bring for me? You know, you just got back from abroad. Don't tell me you didn't bring anything for me. Oh James, I didn't know I will be meeting you today but all the same. Take this $500 and buy something. I will give you something big the next time we meet okay? Oh good gracious, you are very generous. Thank you so much. Be expecting me at your wedding, that is if there will be any wedding. You have no idea what is coming for you. All right, take care. Sure, I will be expecting you. All right then, see you again. Monica, 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 since you have the guts to invite me to your wedding after rejecting my marriage proposal, I destroy your marriage. May your wedding be called off. Your fiancé will see you as a demon and call off the wedding in the name of Great Father Father. Dave, you said you wanted to see me for an important discussion. What could be the problem? Monica, I am calling off the wedding. I don't want to marry you anymore. What? Dave, what are you saying? What happened, Dave? Did I offend you in any way? If I have offended you, please forgive me. Are you deaf? I said I don't want to marry you again. You have not offended me in any way. It's just that my feelings for you have changed. I think marrying you is a very bad idea. It is the worst mistake I can ever make with my life. Oh Dave, how can you do this to me? You know how much I love you. Well, too bad I don't feel the same way about you now. So let's go our separate ways. Oh Dave, don't do this to me please. The wedding is just in a few days and we have sent out a lot of invites. Oh Dave, how can you do this to me? What do I tell my family and friends? Monica, I said I can't continue this marriage with you. Just leave me alone. Oh, and by the way, don't call my phone again. Delete my number from your phone. Good riddance. Oh God, what just happened? Please help me. How can Dave tell me he wants to cancel our wedding without cause, when there have been no conflicts or disagreements between us ever since we met? No, this is not possible. I will not consent to this. In the name of Jesus, I shall have my wedding. The devil is a liar. God's child, get up and pray for trouble is knocking at your door. I won't allow the devil to have control over my marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I will get married. I come before you today in good faith, O Heavenly Father, and I thank you for everything that you have given me. O Lord, according to Psalms 55, 22-23, I should cast my burdens upon you, and you shall sustain me. You shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. O God, I put my faith in you and your promise to protect me from the schemes of the wicked one. My marriage is being attacked by the devil. In the powerful name of Jesus, 
I implore you to sever the devil's hand from this marriage if it is of you, Lord. With the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bind my marriage. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We have one of the finest gentlemen and most sought-after marriage counselor on our show. Congratulations, Mr. Daniel. We are glad to have you on our show. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for having me. I believe that by the end of today, many marriages will be blessed through your counseling. Indeed. Uh, God will surely work his miracle. Is that not miracle. Daniel, my cousin I see on TV? When did he become so successful? He has really made it in life. I really hate to see people make it in life. In fact, other success is a sore in my flesh. I must go and pay him a visit. Yes, that is what I will do. But Dave, what occurred for you to abruptly decide against being married to me? We have coexisted amicably. We have never even had a fight or miscommunication. Monica, I haven't really been myself since the previous time so I came to apologize. In fact I was very ashamed of what I said to you. You won't believe the nightmares I've been having lately, honey, about you. I frequently saw you transform into a demon in my dreams. The image was horrifying and frightening to witness. However, I had a gut feeling that the devil could be attempting to keep us apart. I spoke with my pastor about it, and we prayed. During our prayers, he said he had seen in a vision that you had given money to a certain man, whose marriage proposal you had previously rejected. So, in order to end your marriage, he utilized that money as a point of contact. Oh Jesus, baby, what your pastor said is true. A few days ago, I ran into an old buddy and he asked me what I had brought for him as a gift, so I gave him some money, and I even invited him to my wedding. Oh Monica, this is why Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5 in the Bible states that, the plans of the diligent lead undoubtedly to advantage, but everyone who is hasty comes undoubtedly to poverty. We are urged to use caution and diligence. Oh James, I can't believe he still harbors animosity toward me as a result of my declining his marriage proposal. That incident took place years ago. We praise God for saving us. And I apologize for nearly ruining our wedding. Dave, please stop talking. Our prayers have been heard by the Lord. The devil tells lies. Honey, I adore you. I love you as well, sweetie. Wow cousin, I haven't seen you in ages, I hope all is well. My dear cousin, is indeed been ages, since you became successful, you don't remember your family anymore. All the same, all is not well with me. My rent is due and urgently need money to renew it. I have nowhere else to turn to so I decided to come and seek help from my own flesh and blood. Okay my cousin, so how much do you need? About $20,000. $20,000, isn't that a little too much? What do you mean? Are you trying to turn me down or what? Look, if you won't give me just say you won't give me. Don't look down on me because you have money and I don't. Indeed, this world is wicked. My own cousin has refused to help me when I am most in need. Oh, the world must hear about this. My own flesh and blood can do this to me. Ah, this world is wicked. Calm down, I never said I won't help you. Wait here let me go and get you the money. Good. Go and bring it so that I can use it to destroy you. Nonsense. Where are you coming from? I told you not to leave you. Heavenly Father, I thank you side. for the gift of life and everything else in my life. Your word says in Luke chapter 6 verse 30 that we should give to everyone who begs from us and from one who takes away our goods, we should not demand them back. Father Lord, I put your words into practice today. I commit this act of kindness in your hands, O oh Lord. If the devil wants to use this as an opening to harm me in any way, let his works be in vain. Please protect and deliver me from the hands of the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I sprinkle on this money the blood of Jesus. Amen.
What took you so long to get me just a mere $20,000? I thought you even changed your mind. I am sorry I took long cousin. Here you go, $20,000. Thank you cousin. You are very generous, God will bless you. You are welcome dear cousin. Today is the last day you will hold or even smell $20,000. Nonsense. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. I call upon you the spirit of extreme poverty. You will become poor and die in poverty. I rain destruction upon your life. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Ah. 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 Great father father. You won't believe what happened to me. See how I am covered in bruises. Yesterday I tried pronouncing some curses on my cousin with the money I collected from him. In the process of my doing so, a machete appeared out of nowhere and did me merciless. My son, it is good that you came. I wanted to tell you that, it is not everyone that you can attack or destroy and walk away free. In fact, there are certain people, if you joke with them, God will kill you, and your cousin must be one of those people. Is that so great father father? I will advise you to tread carefully. It will be better to leave your cousin alone if you value your own life. I will try to stay away from such people. Alright, now leave my sight. Brother Ethan, it's been very long time since I last saw you. Why have you not been coming to church? Yes, Pastor. It has been very, very long. I believe you must have heard a thing or two about my downfall. Yes, I did, and I have been looking for you since that time, but nobody seems to know your whereabouts. If I remember correctly, the last time, your friend, Patrick said he was also looking for you. Talking about Patrick, I haven't seen him in a while too. By the way, where have you been? Well, Pastor, I have been roaming around, since I went bankrupt with no roof over my head. I have practically become a beggar. Oh. So you stopped coming to church because you went bankrupt. Don't tell me you are one of those people who forsake God because of temptations and trials. But pastor, my problems overwhelmed me, and I felt God has forsaken me. That is why I felt disappointed with God. You felt the Lord has forsaken you? How long will it take for Christians to acknowledge that Christianity is full of temptations and trials? Christianity is not a bed of roses. It is in your most difficult times that you should completely rely on God and exercise absolute humility. Have you not heard the story of Job? How he lost all he had over a short period of time without having done anything wrong. Even in all his predicaments, he remained humble and trusted in God, until God eventually came through for him. Why is it that Christians today, when they face trials and temptations, they behave like God owes them. Instead of humbling themselves in their predicaments, to attract the mercy and interventions of God, they rather act pompous and arrogant. Let's look at David. In 1 Samuel chapter 30 verses 1 to 6, we are to consider a period in David's life when he was plunged into great distress and trouble. We shall see what he did in his time of trouble and how wonderfully the Lord came through for him. Trouble is no respecter of persons. When you face any problem as a Christian, your duty is to humble yourself, rely on God, read the scriptures and pray the scriptures. It is by so doing, that the Lord will show you mercy and come through for you. Oh pastor, I am guilty. I have sinned against the Lord my God and I regret it so much. When things took a wrong turn in my life, I blamed God and spoke a lot of nasty things to him. I even went as far as not worshipping him again. Pastor. Please help me ask God for forgiveness. It is good that you acknowledged your wrong and have repented of it. Now let me pray for you. Oh Father in heaven, we thank you this day. We are most grateful for this day and everything that came with. 
We plead for forgiveness in every aspect of our lives. I bring your Son before you, O Lord. Your Word says in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 that, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Your Son has confessed his sins before you and repented. Please have mercy and forgive him according to your Word. I also pray, O Lord, that you have mercy on him and restore all that he has lost in his life. For your word says in Joel chapter 2 verse 25 that, You will restore to us the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, your great army which you sent among us. I break and destroy the hand of the wicked in the life of brother Ethan by the strong hand of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be delivered from the grasp and binds of the wicked. Amen. Brother Ethan, during the prayers, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw that, you gave money to a friend of yours and he used that as a point of contact to destroy you. By the grace of God, the work of the evil one against your life has been destroyed and reversed to the perpetrator by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen, Pastor. Oh God, that is very true. I remember giving money to James, my friend. It was afterwards that everything went awry in my life. But Pastor, how can that be? I did a kind deed just like the Bible instructed. Why then did God allow that to happen? It is true that doing good is mandatory for all Christians, but it's also mandatory to seek the face and direction of God in everything. Before you give, pray. Before you receive, pray. Before you eat or sleep, pray. Pray in everything that you do. Have you forgotten that it is written in Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. These are some of the reasons why we are encouraged to commit all our ways into the hands of God. Oh pastor, thank you very much. I have also learnt my lesson. I destroyed Ethan, I destroyed Patrick, I destroyed Monica ha 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 ha. I am a wicked wizard. Ha 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 ha, I am a wicked friend. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed ha ha ha. I destroyed Ethan, I destroyed Patrick, I destroyed Monica ha 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 ha. I am a wicked wizard. Ha 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 ha, I am a wicked friend. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, ha ha ha. Oh, God, it was indeed James who was behind my problems. You can never know the heart of a man. I thank God for delivering me from the binds of the wicked. Oh, what a pitiful sight to behold. Just like the Bible says in Psalms 37, 9 to 15, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotted against the just, and gnashed upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow, to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. O oh James, the Lord has indeed wielded his sword against you. It is unbelievable the number of people who've been destroyed through their act of kindness. It is not through the giving of money only, some people have been destroyed through the act of service. There is this guy who helped his friend secure a job at his workplace. In the end, he lost his job because his friend coveted his position and the favor he had with his boss by stealing and pinning it on his friend. Do you remember the last time you helped someone? Did you commit that act of kindness in the hands of the Lord? I am at fault in this and I have learnt my lesson, I hope you learn your lesson too. It is good to do good, but always pray before you do good. 
Thank you for watching this video from Celia Animations. You can leave in the comments your life experience and we shall tell your story to educate others. Thank you, kindly like, share and subscribe to our channel for more. Bye!